Good evening. Overwhelmed and underprepared. That's the warning tonight from Perth GPs on the front line of the fight against coronavirus. A staggering 90% of Australian doctors have revealed they don't have enough equipment to assess patients safely. Elizabeth Creasy begins our coverage. This is the coronavirus response across the world. Protective suits on health workers and masks on patients. But here in WA, GPs don't have enough protective gear. We have a few masks where I practice and, uh, you know, I think there's a small amount of the gowns and goggles and so on, but really in pretty, pretty small quantities. East Fremantle GP Dr Brett Montgomery is so concerned about the situation, he's written an open letter to Health Minister Roger Cook, who said GPs shouldn't reject patients. If you don't feel that you, your nurse, your receptionists and the other patients are going to be safe if you have patients coming in with fever from the community, then it's your responsibility as a GP to tell them to make other arrangements. But the WA Health Department says it won't be handing out supplies and it's the Commonwealth's responsibility. The state now pushing Canberra for help. We also impressed upon the Minister for Health, uh, Greg Hunt, the importance of providing PPE, uh, face masks and other PPE uh, to the uh, general practice community. Doctors are also warning concerts, sporting events, even schools may have to be shut down as more people become infected. Playing Dockers and Eagles games behind closed doors would cost the clubs and the AFL millions. And while there are no plans right now, the league won't rule it out. I think there will come a time where we will flip to uh, social distancing and that will include things like cancelling mass gatherings and cancelling schools. I think it's going to be very unlikely that we get through uh, the whole of this winter without seeing those things come into place. Already affected a respected Australian composer. Brett Dean here speaking to you from the ward of splendid isolation in the new Royal Adelaide Hospital. <laughs> He was due to conduct this evening, but instead he's recovering from the virus. Have a splendid evening. I'll be there with you in spirit. The coronavirus scare also prompting a shutdown of Vodafone stores across Perth yesterday when a worker fell ill after returning from Indonesia. They reopened today after being cleaned overnight. And as this crisis ramps up, so is the WA Health Department, moving more staff to the front line and employing more nurses. We will be opening staffing recruitment pools to ensure that we can contact as many of those nurses as we can and offer them opportunities if they wish to take them up. And Elizabeth Creasy joins me now. Liz, WA's mining industry held crisis talks today. Well, Michael, some of the most powerful people in mining met this morning to figure out what to do if a FIFO worker becomes infected with coronavirus. Representatives from BHP, FMG, Roy Hill and other companies met for two hours to discuss the issue. Despite the high-level talks, they still haven't come up with a plan and will form a working group to figure out exactly how they will evacuate sick workers out of remote sites. At this stage, it's a pretty simple message for mine workers. If you don't feel well, don't go to work. Michael. Simple message for a very complex problem. Liz, thank you.